All right, guys, it's the holiday season. Local John 1812 back with yet another food review. We're at Culver's, as you've seen there. And when you think of Culver's and you think of the holiday season, you always think about frozen concrete mixers and cocoa. Camera mom took a screenshot side by side comparison there as what they show in there. You can see like the brownish tint of the cocoa. We don't see it necessarily here on the inside the cup here, but we do see it on top there. This is the frozen cocoa concrete mixer. It is the uh, vanilla fresh frozen custard blend with a real cocoa and topped with whipped cream for a deliciously different take on a seasonal favorite. $5.99, that's how much it costs. Let's taste it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna first get, I'm gonna turn off the car a little bit, it's a little loud. Let me get this. All right, there's, look guys, I, I read online, I think it said that most ice cream and uh, custard are about the same thing. There's uh, milk, sugar, um, and cream, right? I think that's about really it. And the difference between custard and ice cream besides those three other ingredients is, custard is required to have like 1.4% of, of egg yolk. 1.4% of egg yolk. So that's what they say. All right, let's take a whole bite here. I've got whipped cream. I've got some cocoa there. I've got the custard ice cream. Oh, wow. That's some strong vanilla flavor in that custard. It's very good but it's extra thick and creamy, but then you get that taste, that cocoa flavoring with it. And believe it or not, it's weird. It's weird. The because, mustache lick. Because believe it or not, it's weird. The whipped cream and the cocoa mix, I'm not kidding you. It gives you the sensation of something warm, even though it's not really warm, warm, you know, obviously, but it gives you that sensation of something warm with something cold. So I like the hot cocoa frozen idea it's really thick yeah it's a concrete mixer yeah I'm not a big 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 fan of concrete mixer I prefer a milkshake but this is good it's Culver's take on a blizzard in my view well I actually like this taste of their custard more now. I don't know why. I've never been like always a big fan. Like, let's go to Culver's. Let's get custard, you know. But I actually like this. I like the take on this. I, I, I like this. Uh, what I would suggest though to make it over the top is to put more of the cocoa mixing in there. Right? The hot cocoa mixing. And uh, that would help out give that cocoa more of a representation throughout all of this. Because once you get past the first layer of the topness here, as I keep digging, I'm just going to start running into just this vanilla flavor cluster, custard, and I'm not going to have that cocoa sensation. So, keeping that in mind, A being a good grade, uh, F being bad, it's going to be a solid B. Like I said, add more cocoa, and I think it would be an A. Is it worth the $5.99? It's a good size. Add more cocoa, and it's worth the $5.99. As is, just getting like some vanilla cust custard with this size, I don't think it should be $5.99, like $3.99 four bucks you know that's weird to say about two it's bucks it's probably just a packet of hot chocolate mix they they put in there so put more than one packet <laughs> you should have some custard here pack it in and then fill up the rest custard or mix it and then put a packet on top with whipped cream that's what they should do that's what i would do if i own this or if i was a franchisee owner or if i worked for culver's in general just so i can make sure that the cocoa's throughout the whole thing all right guys that's all i have Hope you guys really enjoyed this. It is worth a try. Tell them to add more cocoa mix. You'll enjoy it. That's all I have. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Until next time, guys, happy eating and be safe. Later, everyone.